Hello, you all. Um, I hope you're all having a wonderful day out there today, and I'm going to do a tarot reading. Uh, tarot reading today for... I just did Libra tarot reading today for who, Spirit? For you, Cancer. So here you go, Cancer. Cancer, here's what you need to know out there. Cancer. Or you could just be a mother energy and you're watching my channel, and that's okay, and I need the help getting around. This is about a star. You're seen as a star, Cancer. You're seen as this loving, caring, nurturing uh, person that knows how to pour out your love and emotions to everyone around you. You're just a, um, a joy. What else is the rest of this story? Let me get a few cards laid out. You want to receive some fast communication. Swiftly, swiftly, swiftly. Oh, wow, well, about your ships coming in. Your ships is getting ready to come in. And this got illuminated to you. See how his head is like that? You're waiting for your ship to come in because of this situation that you got caught up in, Cancer. This situation of backstab, wine, betrayal. That's what the fuck it is. And... But... Everything is okay. This is also what this card means. Everything, Everything's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that backstab, betrayal because you can... Set and focus on shit like that all the time, but it's not going to do you any good to set and focus on it all the time, okay? So, let's uh, see what, what's the star want to say? What, what, what's the star need to, uh, you had to go in and heal because you was feeling, um, You're just feeling down and out and depressed. See, two, two, two. Um, you're, you're, um, maybe you've been crying over spilt milk. This is like just feeling down and out. So this star could be an Aquarius was feeling down and out around you, Cancer, and they're wanting to, uh, c to have a success with you and have this friendship with you, or they was. They've been mourning a friend, a friendship that they lost, okay? And clarify, clarify the star. You, and um, somebody's been hiding their emotions to you. Someone was hiding their emotions to you, okay, in the community. And uh, they was hiding what they did to you in the community, to this star. And, uh, hang on a minute. And what about, and you had the strength. You're going to get a message coming to you, Cancer. It's going to come in swift, swift, fast, flighty energy as Page of Swords. And you're going to have to have the strength and willpower to tame that beast that's inside of all, each and all of us, okay? This is also about infinity. Never-ending love, never-ending strength. That's what that also means, that, oops, that sideways eight on her head. You're going to re receive communication, and you're going to have to strength to hear this communication. Because this, whoever this person was that was feeling like, down and out and crying over spilt milk um, in the community is hiding something that they've done to you. And when they tell you, you're going to have to have the strength. And it could be they're wanting to offer you a cup of love. Look there. Yeah, they're wanting to come with a little offer of love at the moment towards you. He, he has some emotions for you. But this could be a flighty, sporadic type of energy, too. What else for you gain clarity? Oh, you get 
he's not wanting to do this sneakily. See how the Seven of Swords is upside down? Yeah. He, you're going to have to have strength because he's going to come towards you w with an offer of love. And he don't want to be sneaky when he does this, okay? And somebody could be attacking your all solar plexus chakra because I see a lot of yellow. And you need to use a damn yellow candle and heal that. And eat a lot of yellow foods. And he's not wanting to sneak off with with you. Uh, and it's a king of pentacles. That's what's going to be communicated to you. Look at all that yellow. King of Pentacles means a loyal, dedicated father that has a lot of wealth and knowledge to give. He's a great father, great husband. And um, what what's the King of Pentacles want? What's he going to communicate about? What's he going to communicate about, Spirit? What's he going to communicate about? What's he going to communicate about? How he wants to marry you. How he see man, it could be... He, he sees that you're in your spiritual practice and he wants to talk to you. He could be a a mentor in your life, this person is, but uh, you got the keys to his heart. See those keys right there at the bottom? That's, that's what it is. Uh, okay. So what about waiting on your ships to come in? You're going to get a message. There's this young energy that wants to create something with you, but pay just means they just want to bring penis. See that wand? This is flighty. Look at it. It's somebody who dresses maybe extravagant, see? But they ain't really got a lot of wealth. Their emotions is like up and down or flat none because it's a young energy. So you're waiting, you're, you, you've you been waiting on this communication from this person, and they're wait, this, they've been waiting on you is what it is, and they're wanting to communicate, they're wanting to talk to you, Queen of Swords, this, this King of Pentacles, you know, uh, you know, you're waiting on your ships to come in with this, but this just means, you know, gaining clarity, <laughs> gaining truth. You, you've gained truth. You've gained truth about this whole situation. You're someone that's very stern and um, wise. You're, you know, you're a good person. And you, you got a good heart about you. And, <clears throat> and they're wanting to have a family with you. They want to, you might be getting a lump sum of money. But this is about generational wealth. You're gaining generational wealth in this creative endeavor. That's what it is. Thank you for that. What else? And uh, you see how it's up and down, up and down. See the waves up and down, up and down. You're you're going to be balanced. That's what it means. You won't have to be juggling your finances anymore. You won't have to do that. And what, what will be the outcome? this. Oh, thank you for that spirit. I love you. We'll take it, won't we, cancers? Look, me, me, I'm an Aquarius and the Queen of Swords that's come out. I'll take this too with you, cancer. So see, we're going to get giant blessings from the divine. A giant lump sum of money. See that? That's what it means. So have, have faith on telling you the truth. And uh, hang man, uh, this, you gain clarity while suspended in air. <laughs> That they was trying to get you caught up, this person in your community. Yeah, they might even did death spells on you. But you had an ending with that person in the community that was trying to tire you away from this person that you're supposed to marry. Or if you're already married, they're just trying to break up your family. But you ended that situation and cycle. This is what they've gained clarity about, the people around and What else under hangman spirit? Oh, yeah, look, they're going to get their karma. And the karma is not going to be good when it comes around. You're, going, you're getting good karma. And what else? What else about the karmic wheel? That's cycling up through your karmic lessons. You've learned your lessons. You ended that. Yeah, it shit kept going on back and forth, back and forth, doing shit same over, over and over and over. No, you stopped doing that. You 
You killed that part of you. And Spirit loves you for it. They said, thank you for killing that damn stuff off and not going back to it. And it, you know, and the, the, the karmic wheel on these cards here is Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. And I know for a fact it is. And if you, and if you read the Bible, that it'll talk about that. I've, I've done linked it and I'm not talking about it because everybody don't believe in it. But here is a eight of pentacles. You're just working and building up. You're building your wealth. You're building your generational wealth at the moment. You, know, you don't give a damn. You're not focused on anything but that. You're working on your wealth. You're working on building your legacy with with your person. And and look, you're, you're not got addictions anymore. See the devil upside down? You're not tied to that, people. You're not tied. You're not going to... You're receiving good karma because you got away from these people, places, and things that was trying to cause destruction and havoc in your life. That's what it is. I'm telling you the truth now, you all. And look here. What else about... This backstab betrayal. What about backstab betrayal? But it's saying don't worry about this. Backstab betrayal. Everything's all right, okay? And that is what what that card also means. Uh, you're going to get a little flighty, feist energy. Knight of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sads. They're wanting to come in and tell you something, all right? They, they, they want to give you some penis. Look how red the horse's head is. See what I'm saying? It's just feisty, fiery. <laughs> jump on my horse. <laughs> you know, he just jump on my horse and ride me around. And that's where all the betrayal come from. Maybe you was acting crazy going towards something like this and you knew better. Yeah, look. See, you ain't got nothing to worry about because you're not got no options anymore. That person is not even an option for you anymore. That's what that card means when it comes upside down. So, you used to have a lot of options, but you killed them. You killed it. You killed out that cycle. And what else to killing out this cycle? Ooh, looky here. Here, you killed it out. Look, you are a successful businesswoman. See this? And see all the yellow in your solar plexus? And you're going to be a have a happy, uh, happy, 